Hi all and welcome back to Hypershade Tutorials. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to implement the new gun system, well gun, mo gun movement system sorry, and that was similar to the Call of Duty styles. And at the end of that video I showed you guys the Call of Duty Red Dot style system which disappears once we're moving but if we're aiming down the site it shows back up and that's what we're going to cover in today. But before we do start guys, here is my contact information in case you have any questions. Right guys, if you have any questions you can email me at hypershadetutorials at gmail.com Also at my Twitter at Hamad Nazir Or you can contact me on Facebook which is facebook.com learn unity 3d Right, so let's get started. So the first thing you guys need to do in fact is you need to make a object that looks pretty much like this and you need to make sure that it fits your scopes screen and as you can see this one does now the reason to this is this is going to be hiding our red dot site because as you can see my one is pushed all the way back there which I need to bring back forward just give me a second okay that's good I'm gonna make sure I can see it yep okay now what I want is when we run the game we don't want to see this we don't want to be able to you know walk around and we're seeing this at the same time so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a shader to this now I found this shader from unity wiki I believe I can't remember the exact link so I'm going to put it down in the description you can go ahead and download it so once you made your object go to your shader and it should be called masked and mask now that makes this transparent and we should no longer see this but the problem is if I can try and find it you can see it right now look there you go it blocks out other things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a script to this called render which was also on unity wiki and I can't find the link to that again so I'll give it to you guys so we just attach render to that and you want to set the 3000 to 4000 like so and now you want to click on your red dot site while your texture for it and you want to attach the same script the render one and you want to set this to 4002 and save and that's pretty much done um, just make sure that the invincible objects attached to the scope or something so that it moves with the gun and then you should be fine so let's test that out it's a pretty small tutorial oh sorry I'll pause the video until it starts okay we are back and as you can see I can't see my red dot but if I aim down the site I can see it and as I move my gun away it disappears and as it's dead on sight you'll see it again so that's how you make the Call of Duty red dot system and um, it can be applied to every single weapon not only this one and as you can see we can't see that invincible cube anymore and it's not blocking any of the objects that's what the renderer script does so we're telling it that we avoid these avoid that invincible object we don't want to see it and everything that's set to 4002 we'll see so guys as always thank you very very much for watching this video as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe please share the video and um, I shall be back with another tutorial take care